When leasing commercial space, companies must decide on the length of the lease term. This decision is influenced by a number of factors, including but not limited to growth projections, continuity of operations, build-out needs, economic conditions, etc. Market conditions outside the tenant's control can also have an impact. Retail landlords, for instance, generally require minimum five-year leases. Another example was during the early years of the Great Recession, when landlords were willing to agree to nearly any length of lease term, sometimes as short as one year, just to get their spaces leased. In this series, I will be discussing the most common slash traditional lease terms, three-year, five-year, and ten-year. But we'll also touch on less conventional terms, shorter than three years, between five and ten years, and longer than ten years. I will touch on the who, generally prefers which, what you can expect in concessions as a result, and why tenants may choose one over the other. Three-year lease. Why? Perhaps the most common reason tenants may prefer a three-year lease is flexibility. Three years is a relatively short time in business. Tenants may want the ability to move to another building or submarket. In uncertain economic times, many businesses may not want to lock themselves into a quote, long-term obligation and be on the hook for rental payments if the business fails. Another reason may be time. If a tenant needs to lease space quickly for whatever reason, i.e. their current lease is expiring and they do not give themselves enough time to thoroughly evaluate their options, negotiate the most advantageous terms, etc., they may want to minimize the amount of time they are in a less optimal space. Three-year leases are generally the shortest lease term that landlords will allow. Who? Many businesses or startups find three-year leases appealing. They are still testing out their concept and may not have the tools, data, etc. to make accurate projections for growth, revenue, etc. They don't want to bite off more than they can chew, making a three-year lease an easily digestible lease term. What? Landlords amortize the cost of tenant improvement allowances over the term of the lease, and three years is simply not long enough for landlords to be able to offer much money and still offer competitive market rates. Concessions can range from paint and carpet, flooring, uh, and some minor demo to nothing. This is another reason why three-year options are a preferred choice to tenants that are in a hurry. The build-out process requires architectural drawings, permits, construction, etc., which can take months. Paint and carpet do not require permits and can thus be done over the weekend, allowing tenants to move in quickly.